Wow, here we go. Season five premiere up and on and a few days in advance. Some of us didn't have to wait until Sunday. Hallelujah, it's back. So I felt like this was a really great episode. This was a really wonderful way to open season five. I got my Sassanac necklace on. I'm like doing it up. I gotta make sure I'm paying attention to every single little hint that has been dropped in season five in this premiere episode. I think I'm, I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really good about this season. Um, and from what I've been hearing from the actors' interviews and all these things, there, there are some things that are going to be dropping in this season that I'm like, all right, all right, let's get this going. All right. There was some major pulling on heartstrings this first episode. It's more like yanking, yanking on our heartstrings, right? Of course, it opens with Murtaugh and Wee Jamie and this like really cool fa flashback of him giving him this oath to protecting him. And then we got like this full circle thing going on at the end. Are we witnessing a breakup between Jamie and Murtaugh at the end of this episode? It's like left me just sort of shaken. And then in another like heart pulling, tugging, yanking moment, of course we have like Brianna and Roger's wedding and this like great flashback to the wedding episode in season one. I feel like the producers really know their audience <laughs> because of course, of course, it's just like flashback to the wedding episode as we see this new generation of time travelers. The love montage between all of our couples as Roger is serenading Brianna. I mean, like really nice stuff. They're sort of like lulling us into this really nice time all the characters are together celebrating this wedding we all know in true outlander fashion this is only temporary and then finally for another like moment we have murtaka and jocasta getting together and you know jamie may be the king of men but let's face it murtaka is the very king of our hearts so this has left me with a few questions the murtaka plot the writers have said that Duncan Innes, Innes, Duncan Innes from the book is remaining. And we got that hint with Jocasta saying to him, oh, I've been, he's proposed marriage. So now I'm feeling like we've witnessed a breakup between Jocasta and Murtaugh, which is like really, really bad because I, along with like a whole lot of other people, like need to see them together all the time. I need that spinoff show, right? But now it seems like this is all up in jeopardy because they seem to now be breaking away and separating. And now is Jocasta going to get married to Duncan Innes? And what does that mean for Murtaugh? And I'm getting really nervous because I don't want to spoil too much here, but I'm going to be honest, Sam Hewen did kind of drop a weird spoiler at the New York City panel <laughs> for uh, the screening. And he said something a little strange that has made me question all of the Murtaugh stuff happening this season. <laughs> um, and I hate to like say it, but I'm just gonna kind of like say it. He made it seem, I think, that maybe we will not see Murtaugh past season five. So I'm getting a little scared here, but I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna see what happens with him. Uh, another question is where are we gonna go with the whole Roger and Jamie situation, regardless of whether or not you've seen the, whether or not you've seen the book, regardless of whether or not you've read the book, I think the friction between um, him and uh, the, bo the both of them is just like stellar. You know, I love that scene in this episode where, you know, Jamie's calling everybody, uh, you know, as a clan, more or less. And, um, you know, it's like, cue Roger and step up. This is your cue. Step in. He's talking to you. You know this? And then Roger's just sort of like, what? Captain? And it's like, yeah, baby, just go with it. Just go with it. Um, but I really like seeing how uh, they, they like each other, right? But, you know, Jamie just sort of feels like you're not up to snuff with my daughter. And I get that. And um, But I'm looking forward to seeing how their relationship blossoms through uh, the season. Uh, I have another very important question while watching this. 
is Laura John Gray the Vampire Lestat? I am getting major Vampire Lestat vibes from David Barry because, and I'm wondering, I'm like, is Laura John Gray, Laura John Gray the Vampire Lestat the whole time? Vampire Lestat is from uh, Anne Rice's vampire books, if anybody doesn't know my reference. <laughs> but I swear to God, every time I've been seeing David Barry in his get up as Laura John Gray recently, I'm just like, Vampire Lestat, Vampire Lestat. Um, so I just kept getting that through this, through this episode, major, major. How many more babies will Marsley have? This is getting a little bit ridiculous. She like clearly just popped one out and now she's like pregnant again. It's like, all right. Uh, so what is this? Like the fifth kid? I don't even know. I've lost track. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, sign up on YouTube. It's season five. A whole new adventure. I've been reading the book. That's a whole nother video that I'm going to put together because this is getting silly. <laughs> so I'm very much looking forward to what's going to happen this season because uh, from what I've gathered, it seems like the writers are really going to be taking some liberties, some different directions than what this book has been doing so far. And um, I'm looking forward to it. Um, so follow me on all the, all the things. All the things. Tweet type, post, whatever. Let's get this conversation going because season five is out and you guys, it's looking really, really good.